in this section we are going to discuss the case 2 that is having infinitely many solutions for Gaussian elimination so we're going to take 2 or we can say we're going to take a system of linear equation and try to see how do we get infinitely many solutions so let's take the system of linear equations 1x1 1 plus 2x2 2 2 is equal to 2 and then 2x1 plus 4x2 is equal to 4. So now we have to write it in the augmented form. So the augmented matrix is we have x1, we have 1 first and then for x1 we have 2 and here for x2 we have 2 in row 1 and in row 2 we have 4 and here we have 2 and 4 so that's the augmented matrix and we can check here for our matrix here what's the determinant so let us find out the determinant of this here determinant is 1 times 4 plus minus 2 times 2 so that is 4 minus 4 which is equal to 0 so since the determinant of our matrix is equal to 0 let me write it down here so you can say therefore you can say since the determinant of the matrix 1 2 2 4 is equal to 0 then there are only two options then there are two options for the solutions that is either We will have infinitely many solution or no solution. So because the determinant is equal to zero here, we could be having either of the two situations, infinitely many solutions or no solution at all. Now we can see here that the row 2 is clearly a multiple of row 1 that is um, maybe let me write it down I'll take the augmented matrix so it's easy to see it okay so here The second row is clearly a multiple of the first row that is row 2 is 2 times row 1 so therefore we can say that this has infinitely many solutions okay so we know that this uh, system of linear equation will have infinitely many solutions now let's go ahead and solve this so this here now 
the row operation should be minus one half times row two plus row one and we put the values in row two so we don't change row one we have one two and two here and now we, we multiply minus one half times row two here we'll get minus one and we added with one here so minus one plus one will be zero so here we'll have a zero I hope you understand so we get the zero here from taking this row operation here so what we're doing here is minus one half times row two which is two plus row one so we have row one is one here and that is equal to so here two and two will get cancelled so you have minus one plus one which is equal to zero right and now for the second one we have minus one half times row two which is minus two and then plus row one which is two minus two plus two is again zero and so goes for the next one we have zero here again so what we can see over here is that here we can see that we have got zero times x two is equal to zero so here we got zero times x2 is equal to zero which is or which means that x2 is any number such that the number r is an element of real numbers and then now taking the first equation from here we have 1 times x1 plus 2 times x2 is equal to 2 here so you have x1 is equal to 2 minus 2 times x2 and we know x2 is any real number r so we can just write it as 2 times r so that's x1 and here we have x2 so we can write the solution set here as x1 is 2 minus 2r comma x2 is r where r is an element of real numbers so this shows that it has infinitely many solutions and that's the end of this section